everybody welcome back to craftingonabudgetstore.com for all your scrapbooking needs and more today we are going to do a little quick tutorial on how to make these cute little christmas cones i make these believe it or not almost every year i see blue strand there um these are just so adorable and what i like to do is um when I'm off camera, I will fill, put a little tissue paper in the bottom and then fill them up with little Hershey's Kisses that are the Christmas ones, that are the red and green ones, or I may fill them with the little um, peppermint patties. Um, just, they're just so cute and they look so cute at your place setting. And so I did buy a pack of six from Hobby Lobby. I will tell you that it was a total disaster. <laughs> Um, and not in a good way because I literally had to rip apart my cones. They were all stuck together. There's six in a package and there's three and then three and they were all stuck together. I had to use my little, this thing that you normally use for painting or stenciling. I had to shove that in there. I mean, you name it. I was doing everything I could to get them apart i finally got them apart so a couple of them are a little worse for the wear and then coming up with the pattern <laughs> was another crazy experience um crazy because we're not working with lace and when you're working with paper i'm trying to use this six by six paper pad from the romantic collection from stamperia and so I did pull out two pieces that I know I can't use because one is the advent calendar and one are little cards that I'll probably put on packages or something. So I pulled those out already. And then, of course, the back cover is the cutout sheet, which we may or may not use. It might look cute to put something on the front. Um, I am using my favorite punches again, as you can see. And I am using my absolute favorite red seam binding. This is the only red seam binding I will ever use because I don't like red. And I don't like reds that have an orange undertow. And I don't like really red, red Christmas red. I like like vintage kind of red. And this is from May. It's color number 17. She probably has it just listed as red on craftingonabudgetstore.com. She sells it by the yards, but if you are like me and like a particular color and want more, I am sure that she can order you a whole spool of it. I I use so much seam binding that uh, I like to get the whole big spool, especially if it's a color I love, and I do love that color. Now, the pattern's a little tricky. At first... I thought, see, see, this is how wrecked up it became because I was trying to desperately pull them apart. It was awful. And I need all six. So I'm just going to have to make one of them mine. Um, anyway, I tried to do this method where you will put a line somewhere on your cone and you'll put your cone down and match the line up to the paper Put your cone in the corner here and then roll it around until you see your line all the way back here again. That did not work out. Um, I did try it several different times. I did some, some samples and it was not coming together the way I would like. And I think part of the problem is because this is really thick paper. It's double-sided paper. And I think that you need to start up higher. And you'll see what I mean when we do it. So I made a makeshift pattern kind of that way, but expanded it. And then I made a little notation on here of like where to tuck the point in. And when we do it, you'll see how I'm going to do this. And I am using hot glue for this project. It's making it easy on ourselves. I'm just using a very little piece of lace trim, but you can go all out. Now you guys know or should remember if you've been following me that I'm obsessed with Tussie Mussies. I gave a whole big history on Tussie Mussies when I had my channel. I absolutely love them. I love the whole idea behind them. And so 
May and I have been making Tessie Mussies for like ever. In fact, she even created a lace one that had, oh my gosh, like angel wings attached to it. Like it was just amazing. I made one. We all, she did a kit. We all made one. Um, now I'm just kind of training my paper to go in that curved kind of shape. And then I'm going to just look at my pattern here. I'm going to make a little notation that I need to start start up higher and that was the problem i wasn't starting up high enough and because i didn't start up high enough the paper did not go all the way around so what i'm going to do is look at where my line is now there's my little line and i'm going to go just a little bit below it i think and i'm going to use some hot glue hot glue works great for paper mache not so great for plastic resin anything like that so if and this is the cone that's wonky so this might give me a little bit of a fit but we'll see so now i'm just going to push this in see how i'm pushing that in there and hopefully yeah it's going to gonna work this time okay all right so i'm gonna push that piece in i'm gonna put a little glue here try not to burn myself i'm just gonna push Ooh, i am gonna burn myself if i'm not careful i'm gonna push that in and i'm just gonna hold it there for a second now i did make this pattern oversized it's not a problem for me because i'm going to just cut off what I don't need there we go all right so now let's see I guess we'll just keep going on with this side first and you could put sorry my phone is just dinging like crazy um sorry about that so now I'm just going to kind of roll it And I'm going to keep going and I really should put a glue mat down because this is going to get messy. I'm unprepared for class. Um, I've been wanting to do this. I've just, you know, I'm getting over pneumonia so it's really kicked my butt. I've had pneumonia before. So I don't know. My husband says it's because we're getting old <laughs> that we don't bounce back fast enough. I don't know. Maybe he's right. He could be right. Now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bone folder. Where did that go? I just had it out. Oh, here it is. And I'm going to crease where we put that point just so that I make sure that when I glue, I'm going to have a point there. See where I'm see what I'm saying? So now when I roll this over, it's gonna still have its point. So I don't know if it's because I'm I'm getting old. I, I will say that that's not the reason, but he could possibly be right. Um, but I do notice that every time I it's time to go to sleep, I can't sleep because of all the medication. And it's driving me crazy because I don't go to bed until like four in the morning. Um, and then I'm like, I can't, you know, I, I, I sleep late and then I can't get myself out of bed and I want to do a tutorial. And I'm like, oh my gosh, these people are probably like, where did she go? She was just here and now she's gone. But I, I didn't leave you. I promise. I promise I didn't leave you. This one, this beat up one is going to be mine at the table i can tell you that right now um now i'm just trimming off the edge of the paper because it's a little taller and then i'm going to put my lace around it this is how quick these come together we'll probably do all of them together if you guys want to hang out with me because i have to do all of them um but you can always click off once you've seen it 
Okay, so May is very busy, as you guys probably all know. She's moving into a bigger store. Of course, bigger is better. And she, um, I knew that was going to happen because she loves to have everything at her disposal and when she had her other shops she's had two other businesses and you could get anything anything your heart desired as far as crafting goes you could get and that's what's happening now she's she's just so good like that she's such an amazing businesswoman she really is. She has, I mean, she has a degree in that. So she should, she should be amazing in it, but she really is. And she's so creative as we all know. So we just love her. Just love her. Okay. So the seam's going to go in the back. Now I got to see as I punched out some stuff here, what I'm going to punch out for my front. You know how it goes. I'm using my scallop punch and I'm using my one inch punch. The one inch punch would be, oh, those are too big. Where's my little cutout sheet? I might be able to cut out something cute out of here. Snow globe. No. I mean, I could just cut out the snow globe. I don't have to make a circle. So let me do that. Because I do like the snow globe. I think it's really sweet. So we'll just cut it out. And use it instead of using a circle. I just like to cut it rough cut it out first and then cut it out of paper because I'm afraid I'm going to cut into something out another image that I might want to use so just do it like this well, you know what I'm not going to cut those little tiny things I had like little feet on it that's just going to be too too much too much cutting so that'll be cute and that will go on there and I'll put it with the little pop dot and then we'll glue that on. We have to glue our little handle. It's so funny. I put these at everybody's play settings and my aunt everybody can go home with theirs you know and I put them on ours too I know it's funny because we live there and you know we don't really need them but I don't like to have blank play settings so I put them on ours too and my aunt always says to me can I have them are you going to keep yours are you going to keep yours and I'm like no you you can have it and I'm, I'm always like what does she want it for you know like okay she I guess she really likes it um, and then I found out what she really likes it for. <laughs> she hangs them on her tree as ornaments. So it's so funny to, you know, I go, go to her house and I see her tree and there's there, here we have our little tussie mussies all hanging. <laughs> it's so funny, but she loves them. And she's more than welcome to have as many as she wants. She knows that. <laughs> I let her in my craft room once. That was a mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> because then she saw all that she was missing out on. <laughs> she was like, oh, I want this. Oh, I want this. Oh, can I have this? And I was like, oh, boy. Here we go. Empty out the craft room. I'm telling you, I am not showing her the minte projects at all <laughs> those are gonna be hidden until after christmas because i i just am in love with them so much i don't know what we're gonna do next after these i think we're gonna do um i don't know 
I was thinking of using that paper that has the animals and it's green from um, Chow Bella. I think that would be fun to use next with like a cardstock behind it. So I think that will be our next project, which will be nice. Let me just fix my tails. And then I'm going to just stick this under here. Now, sometimes I put bows on each side, but these are little, these tussy mussies. So I don't think I'm going to put bows on each side, but that would look cute too. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. Look at how cute. I mean, just imagine just adding that to somebody's play setting filled with candy. Maybe put their name on it, you know, too, like a little tag or something. I don't know. I just think they're really cute. I love them. I do them all the time. So I really wanted to do one with this girl wrapped around it but I just don't think it's gonna I don't think it's going to be what I think it's gonna be you know how that goes I just I, I don't think so but I do like these snowflakes so I think I'll use this yeah she's just she's so cute but I think that it's she's not gonna look right wrapped around she's gonna look because it's not circular. So I don't think she's going to look right. But I do like these cones. So we'll do those. I mean this, uh, these snowflakes and stuff on this paper. So we'll use this. Whoa. Do you know, it's, it's like an A. SMR thing, I think is what it's called, or AMSR, but I love the sound of ripping the paper out of the um, hook out of the paper pad. I, I just like that sound. I don't know why. I'll save her for a little greeting card or something. She's not going to go to waste. Believe me, she's not going to go to waste. Um, and let me just mark where my little... I should make a little point. Okay, let's get our next cone. See how fast these are to put together? It's great. It's a fun project and it's fast. Super fast, super easy. One, two, three, you're done. I don't know. I just, I like it. I, I really do. I have fun with these. And I make them every year in different things. You know what these look good in too? Um, the, uh, whatchamacallit paper. The music paper. One year I did music paper. And, oh, it looked so beautiful. I picked, um, I had happened to find a Christmas music paper at a thrift store. And I just fell in love with it. It was perfect. It was just perfect. I loved it. And uh, so that's another option if you don't have this paper. I mean, you don't have to have this paper. You can use whatever paper you have. I just want to use this paper up. You guys know how I am like to use every little bit of it. Okay. Come on. And here we go. Yeah, use your use your um mat. It's much easier cuz it's like easy to roll around it. I have mine upside down. I'm just looking at it now. <laughs> That's all right. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Sometimes I even put little, I glue bells on the bottom too, which is really, looks really, really cute. So if you have jingle bells and you glue them to the bottom, of your cone 
It looks so stinking adorable. Now, by doing that little thing that we're doing at the bottom, it's not coming to a complete point, but you can push on it to make it more pointy. You know, you can, you can definitely, you know, once you get it, yeah, you can push it and make it more pointy if you want. I'm not really concerned about it, to be honest. Let me just add that glue. I mean, you see how fast this is? I love fast crafts. I love doing the books. I love doing the file folders. You know, I love it all. But I do love when I could just sit down and, you know, we're going to bang out six of these in a short amount of time. And they're just, they're just so cute. And guys, you can add applique, you can add whatever you want. I'm just going really simple. I don't really, you know, think that, I mean, it's not like a big thing. But these would be really cute for a baby shower, for a bridal shower, for wedding. I mean, you could fill these with those almond, um, those candied almonds that I absolutely love. Um, and I don't know why, I just don't buy them. Like, I don't know why I'm waiting for a wedding to get them. <laughs> I should just buy them. I love them. But I don't buy a lot of stuff with nuts because my daughter has a peanut allergy. So even though she's not allergic to other nuts, I still, you know, everything is like processed in a facility where there could be nuts. And so I get too nervous. I just get too nervous. All right, let's see what we can do to this one. I'm just saying. I'm going to see we can maybe use. Let me see. I'm going to grab my punch here. I do you like these snowflakes. And you guys see I'm obsessed with this punch whole idea behind this punch I just really am I'm thinking I could use I could punch one of these tags so that's that's why I'm cutting these out let's see with my circle punch where are you oh that's love There we go. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, I love that. Guys, you believe we made, well, I made one ahead of time, but I'm just saying it's only, what, 25 minutes and we're already, um, just already almost done. We're halfway there. Thanks, love. Where's the seam? Is there? There. Let's grab some of our seam binding. I love this seam binding so much. This red. Because I'm not a red person, as you guys already know about me. I'm not big into red. But this red, I love so much. It's so pretty. I got the red. I got the fig. It might be called beige on the website. I'm not sure. And of course, I got the light pink because I use that a lot. I cannot wait to do the ballet papers. But you know, got to wait. Got to finish all our Christmas stuff. Not 
too small. It's okay. I'll save it for something else. And some people do these do these finger bows. They do them on forks. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but I saw like a little thing come across my Facebook feed and a girl was actually using a fork to make tiny bows. I haven't tried it yet, but I guess all different ways. I just use my fingers. I do have my bow maker out, but these are too small for the bow maker. That didn't quite go on an angle. There we go. I'll leave that there. And here we go. I don't have my jingle bells. I don't know where they are. Also, I would glue the jingle bells on the bottom, too. And I might do that after the fact if I find them, guys. Um, so if you see them on my table, because I always take a picture of my table, um, you might see them. Look at how sweet these are. Oh, I just wrecked that. I knew I was going to do that. I usually burn the ends of my ribbon off camera so that I can really pay attention. But you could even put like, look at, you could even put like some greenery inside these. Look at how pretty that would look. I'll push it in a little bit. I still have this greenery over here that I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. But look at how pretty that would look with the greenery. So you can you can do anything with these. Let me just stick these all over here so I'm not messing things up. All right, let's do another one. It's so much fun, isn't it? Oh, I can maybe cut her out and put her on. That's what I'm going to do for the next one. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I thought these letters would be cute because they're kind of, kind of, doesn't matter if they're going in a different way. But I do like the word Noel there, so. We'll do it like this. Or I could have done the top with Santa. Well, that's okay. We'll just do it like this. You know, that was probably going to be like crooked now that I'm thinking of it. If it rolls around, it's going to not be right. You know how this rolls around. And I think we're going to switch sides. You know, well, it's going to be upside down. See, that's the only problem. That's why I was using the back of these pages, because to me, the back of them, I'm just move that out of the way. The back of them gave me more flexibility, but we'll try it with this one. I mean, it's just little postcards. If it looks weird, it looks weird. I'll give this one to David. <laughs> See my thinking? I saved the good ones for everybody else. And I keep the rejects. I keep the rejects for the three of us. But yeah, I like putting a lot of things on people's uh, play settings. I like having a lot of goodies. I like. I like doing that. My grandmother always did that. My grandmother was an awesome entertainer, so I think I got it from her. At least I hope I got it from her. I should have done it that way, but that's okay. Um, yeah, she used to entertain like crazy. And I always put a gift on in everybody's chair. So everybody has a gift on their chair. Um, it's, you know, it's just a little something. Usually I try to find ornaments that match everybody's personality. I think that is just such a cute thing to give. And then every year they have an ornament from me and they know that I was, you know, thinking of them when I was picking out an ornament for them. 
And people like that. You know, people like hand handmade things. I know some people say no, they don't. But I'm telling you, people love handmade things. When you take the time to do it, people really appreciate it. I know I do. I love getting handmade things. The only problem is I'm the only one that makes handmade things <laughs> in my family. So <laughs> unless I make it for myself, I'm not getting it. <laughs> Actually, this looks cute with the, the postcards going every which way. It doesn't really matter, so that's good. I'm happy that that didn't really wreck up what was going on here. Let's fold that in as best as we can. In here. Glue all the way to the edge. And let's roll it. There we go. These are so cute. I love this paper. I really do. Now, you could also tuck these in if you wanted, if you wanted them, you know what I'm saying? Like you could do this if you, if you didn't want to cut them, I cut them, but you could tuck them in if you wanted to, just giving you another option. I just cut them. I think it's easier just to cut them. Let's see where, there's glue there. It doesn't, it didn't look like there was glue there for a minute. As I was cutting. And this is fun to do. Usually my daughter does this with me. Um, but you know, she's so busy. So. I'm doing it. All by myself this year. There's the seam. But I'm not really all by myself. I have all of you guys. I'm so sorry I haven't been on. Just, you know, recovering. Um, I said, boy, they're probably like, where did she go? She was like, all of a sudden gangbusters, and now she's gone. Oh, by the way, I have to tell you, I checked on my... I like to check on my pieces when I use a different glue. And remember how we used the Yoohoo glue for the file folder project? That glue worked awesome it's not lifting there's no bubbles there's no drama there's no creases so if you're look if you like to work with a glue stick which i kind of have to say i was liking working with the glue stick get that glue stick from may it's this one this this i mean it and it's look at it, it's like 385 it is so good that glue and don't forget use Michelle DT if you want a discount which I know you do it's gonna be a little too big but I'm gonna cut it down let me put my little oh my gosh I always forget you know when you don't work with glue hot glue and then you work with it again you're like wow these glue strands are out of control. Um, for those of you who really like that bow punch that I used, um, I just wanted to let you know too long um, that I found a bunch of them on eBay. It's called the Stamping Up um, Bow Builder. You'll see it um, just in case you want. You want one because I know sometimes when I see somebody use something and then I can't find it I get like aggravated <laughs> I'm like how dare they show me something I can't get um, but yeah it's they're all over the place so you can definitely get one I might be cutting into this cover 
to get my little girl here because I'm obsessed with her. Ooh. Let me see. Let's see what we got. Cut this little. Make as much as her as I can because she's just so cute. Doing her little stockings. Oh, she's so cute. And then, what's behind this? Yeah, we could still use the letters. So use those. Oh my goodness, this is coming out so cute. I love this paper. This paper is so vintage Christmas. It's just, oh, it just screams happy holidays. Now I'm sure everybody has their tree up by now, unless you're getting a real tree. Sometimes you have to wait a little bit longer if you're getting a real tree. I can't get a real tree. I'm allergic to them. Problem child, I know. <laughs> and let's get our bow. I have to have a bow because everything is better with a bow. You guys all know that. You don't need me to tell you. Let's get this. Oh, we have two more left. So funny. Sometimes I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it off my finger. <laughs> put that under there and she's good to go I oh, love that one so cute okay now what we could do because this is going to wrap around and it's not going to look right we can use the other side of this paper let me just see what I have going on over here the reason I'm saying that is because I might want to use those little postcards that's so cute that's pretty isn't it let me back up Santa though but I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? Those two we can, I said we couldn't use. So, what are we going to throw in on here? I'm just looking to see what my scraps look like. Um, I love that. And I think we'll just do the back of this one. The red ribbon and the red bow really gives it a pop. I love that. I just think it looks awesome. And I'll put them all together once we're done so you can see all the different ones we did. Alrighty. It's so weird. It looks like a like a rib strip it makes. That's funny. All right, let's just get it. Oh, I was supposed to put the line on the other side. Yeah, 
Yeah, definitely don't want this. Our little sands would be upside down. He'd be flying upside down. That wouldn't be too good. See, this is the one I had the problem with. It was like all stuck in there. I tried to get some of that glue off, but I don't know what happened. It was the weirdest thing. I've never had that happen. I hope I don't ever have that happen again. That was really a problem. You should have saw me struggling. I was like, uh, I guess we're not doing this project. I, was, I thought I was going to have to bring them back to Hobby Lobby. I really did. Ooh, more glue. But good thing we didn't have to. It worked. It worked. Oh, I forgot to push the little thing up. There we go. You know, you could, I was thinking, you could even put those like little, you know those like middle, little mini bath bombs? I forgot to push this up. So hopefully I can fix it with my glue. Yeah, I can just mess around with it a little bit more. Um, if you make those little mini bath bombs, you could probably put them in here. You could probably put, if you're, if you're doing this for like a little girl's party, you could do pink paper. You could put a little lip, lip gloss in there, um, little hair ties in there. I mean, you know, these kinds, that's why I buy it. Like I buy them at the end of the year, although I have to say they're really running low on things. Um, but I like to buy stuff. And keep these because they're they're half price. Sometimes they're like what sixty six and a half percent off or whatever when they do their sale. Um, but you can use these all year round. So I like to have them. And actually, I can't believe I only bought one. <laughs> I think because I was just so project centered. Like I have to make this project, and I knew what I was going to do with you guys. So I was like, let me just focus on the project and now that I'm like thinking of it I'm like why didn't I buy more of these because they're really not let me see if I save the packaging to tell you how much they are they're $4.99 for six and they're 50% off right now so you can see why I would like them I messed that one up because I didn't Hold that bottom but that's all right you're never gonna see it people aren't gonna be inspecting these they're just gonna be like oh my gosh it's so cute it's on my place setting That's where that other glue was. I don't know what happened. I guess in the factory they glued it together. I don't know. But all my cones were glued together. It was the weirdest thing. I was like, oh my gosh. But I didn't dare give it to David to, to undo because he would have just ripped them. <laughs> he would have got so frustrated. He doesn't have a lot of patience. Um, and we would have had no cones. So... <laughs> I have a couple that are a little wonky. I don't care. Um, but I wouldn't have had any if I let him at them. So we just deal with them. Deal with the problem, problem ones. And every time I set the table, he's like, why did you make me one? Like, why, why did you get me an ornament? Why did you do this? Why? And I'm like, cause I want the table to look even like matched. I don't want it to, to, to not look matched. And he's like, okay, all right. If that's what you say, I'm going to add a tiny bit of that glue. If I can stick it in there. Yeah. And then just press it down. Um, but yeah, he's always like, I don't know why you're, you're including me in this. I live here. 
I'm not the guest. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but you know how I am. It's OCD. I like everything to, to look and match the same. You know how it is, guys. I'm sure there are a lot of you out there that are just like me and are saying the same thing. I would do the same thing, Michelle. I would have it match. It would have to match. I couldn't have it any other way. I know May would be that way. Um, so I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone in this. Okay. We have that. Now we have to figure out what stay put it wants to roll. Stay put. We want to put on the front of this one. I did see I had a piece of this. Hmm. Just like to use every bit. I like that. Um, I like this side better. And then I had cut that one little. What happened to that one little tag I cut? Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. It says best wishes. I think that would be sweet. Oh, I have to cut some of the edge off because they got fit. Get in there. There we go. There's my best wishes. So cute. So yeah, I think tomorrow we're going to, probably tomorrow, we're going to start on another book, another album. But I did want to do something like little, little home decor, little, something a little fun, you know, because not everybody's into making books. I understand that. I wasn't for a long time, but let me tell you, once you get the bug, once you get the bug to make them, it does not leave you. <laughs> Then you want to just keep making more. And when you see all the beautiful paper collections that are out there and that may keep showing and bringing in, it it just makes you like crazy. Crazy, crazy. I mean, I am so sad to see my minte paper gone. <laughs> I know that sounds so silly, doesn't it? But I really, truly am. Because I loved it so much. I loved working with it. But on to other, other ones. These are so cute. Final one. Final one, guys. Do you believe it? Hmm. I haven't done the pine cone one yet, and I do like the pine cones. And then you know what I will do with these little pieces that I have left. I'll probably make three by three cards. Um, let me see if I could stay away from Santa as best as I can. Um, I'll probably make those three by three little cards because I thought those were cute. Ooh, got a little off there. And I will also probably make place card holders. With them as well. Which I think will be really pretty. Let's see how much of Santa I got. Oh! Look at that. I didn't even touch him. Well, just a tiny bit. Um, 
you believe I wrote a different line on the wrong side again? My goodness. I don't know where my oh it doesn't matter. The same on both sides. I like this side better, so for the inside, so let me just cut my little line. Cut my little line. Yeah, and save your pieces of um I put I have this in my pile. Save your pieces left over from your file folders because these make awesome uh place card tags because they're nice and sturdy. So I, I saved mine. I just thought I'd let you know because they they really do. They're really, really sturdy. That's the only one I have right now, but where's my final cone? Here you are. Here we go. Let's remember to do that. My little point. Go. All right. There we go. And here's the rest. Roll it around. Just holding it for the food to dry. I'm getting a little cramp in my hand. Make sure that's good. Glue. Two strands flying everywhere. I'll put them up there too. I'm going to wrap this around and hold it. Hold it for a second. So that glue gets set. There we go. Nice. No, not, not much on the edge this time. So, so interesting. I don't think these cones are all shaped the same because I'm looking at what I'm cutting off of them and I'm cutting the same pattern and some I'm having to cut a lot off and some I'm not. So I don't think they're all the same. Even though they're supposed to be, they just aren't. Uh -oh. Come on. I could see these in like gold covered with, um, like for a wedding with the bride and groom's name on them, filled with those little almonds that I'm now craving. I saw the funniest post on um, Facebook. It was, um, what is your least favorite candy? And my least favorite candy is candy corn. And my friend, Abby Henderson, who you all know and love, she's the Purple Cottage on YouTube. Um, she was like, I might have to rethink our friendship. <laughs> reading that <laughs> I was cracking up I just hate candy corn but you know what we, a lot of people said they hated which are my favorite are circus peanuts I love circus peanuts and I love when they're stale isn't that so weird but that's I do I love them my husband like I'll open the bag and then I leave the bag open and he's like what are you doing and I'm like I'm waiting for them to get stale so I love them stale. <laughs> so I'd love to know what your favorite candy is.
pop it in the just pop it in the comments please comment guys I, you know i feel like i'm all by myself when you don't comment i would love to see some comments It's nice because then you feel like, oh, they really did watch it. <laughs> they really did like it. You know, it's kind of like an affirmation type thing for us crafters. I always try to leave a comment, like, like, and like, and comment. Um, I just think it's important. All right. So let's see what we got now that we're going to rip apart. What was on this side? Hmm. That's pretty boring. Let me look at my, um, oh, there's that clock, but that clock is not going to fit. Is the typewriter going to fit? I love the typewriter. No. The clock. Hmm. I have this little boy here, but he's holding a bit. That's too big. That snowball. Well, let me see. Oh, yeah, it's not wide enough either. Because I cut those other ones out. Probably shouldn't have done that. Sometimes if you... No, it's not going to be enough. What about... Oh, see, he'd be there, but you can't see his snowball. Oh, I could put Santa. Hold up. Maybe we could just put Santa on this one and not double it. Mm. That romantic collection is in the way. What about the one inch punch? Let's see if we can get Santa. Maybe we could just get a little part of Santa. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, good. All right, so we have Santa now, and now we just have to punch out of, oh, maybe we'll use this. Maybe we'll use the letters because they are to him. All right, I'm just going to cut that a little bit down so we see the envelope. There we go. That was easy. That was easy peasy. Put Santa here with his letters. Oh, that's cute. All right. Let me find the front. Him on. Super cute. Let that just fall the way it's gonna fall. Let me put my punches back. I just oh, I love I love doing this double punch thing. I also heard that there's a thing you can get that helps you to punch, and I'm saving all my scraps because I'm gonna use them for my name cards. Um, and place cards, so probably not that scrap, but these I will. I'm just moving some stuff out of the way so I can show them all to you. I might make Belle this little mini advent calendar, but I do like that we have all these tags left too. 
So we've got some scraps left and some tags. And oh, bow. <laughs> Put my bow on there. Well, guys, we're at an hour, but we've got a lot accomplished. Oh. I want you to go through. Fingers are not working. There we go. And we'll put this under Santa. So cute. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I have a lot of garbage here. But I wanted you to see them all. Hold on one second. Don't go anywhere. Have so much stuff on my desk. Roll this up. Put that in the garbage. Quick, quick. I'm gonna take a look at all of them here. Make pretty stuff. We did make pretty stuff. <laughs> I cut this in half. It was too big. But here they all are. Here's all our little Christmas cones. Look at how sweet, guys. Yep. And they're flipping around. Oh, my gosh. Look at how adorable they are. Oh my word, I just love them. I hope that you have fun making these with me. I love making these. They're so stinking adorable. And they're going to look so cute without their glue strands um, all set up. So guys, you know what I'm going to say. Stay safe, be well, and until the next time, God bless you all, and bye for now.